There we go. What about the second one? Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey. We're just getting everything good to go here. That's the one that's already connected. There we go. That's a lot of stuff. Georgia, please stop. Georgia, please stop. <clears throat> and looks like we are good to go. How's everyone doing? Happy 2021, hey. Hey, hey. I like your shirt, babe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, my name's Cami. This is Man Friend, and this is Man Friend Podcast. We're also on Twitch now. You can uh, find us Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 Central and also Sundays whenever we're around, really. I guess so, or when we can wake up. Yeah, whenever we kind of get up on Sunday, we kind of leave that one a bit more floating. Well, tired today, but it's all working out. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I think i just still been, I don't know. It's probably actually a preemptive tire yeah. for the week to come. Like And a cat's over here messing in my corner of crap. Man. Well, she always does that. Uh, Got rid of some of the boxes, huh? Well, some of the boxes at the bottom. Oh, there we go. Some of the boxes at the bottom are comic books, and those are not getting rid of. So. Well, what, what good are they going to be? You going to show them to someone one of these days? Uh, how about make some money one day? Or well, that would be good. I, I'm down with that. That's fine. Um, so we, you know, did New Year. We ended up. Um, that's going to probably be a topic Tuesday. Okay. Basically, what happened in Las Vegas, we'll call it. So be listening Tuesday when we talk about that. Um, but we are starting 2021 with a bit more of a, what do you call it? An attitude of like, let's lose weight, right? Like that's kind of been something yeah, that we've decided that we got hit on there, yeah. really wanted to do. And I ended up starting a little deal with... Um, a great group, um, their name, I mean, I have it on my drink right here, Profile by Sanford. They are awesome. And the reason I say they're awesome is because it started with, like, Sanford House is like a like a healthcare company, right? And so it sta started with a healthcare company or a, a hospital, whatever, and they were dealing with people that were, like, overweight or, you know, severely over, uh, obese, right? Yeah. And so what they were doing was they were looking at the ways in which they could okay. start getting those people losing weight. So All that's right. where it started. And then basically each is tailored towards each person. So we're doing this whole – I'm doing this whole – She's doing it. – diet thing. And so it got me thinking about – um Losing weight as a couple. So my question for you is, do you think we're going to be able to lose weight as a couple? Or yep. do you think it's going to be an individual thing? And I found this article about well, was it whether a question or question or are you reading an article? Both. Is okay. it double trouble or twice the determination? So what's your thoughts on it? You good? Yeah. No, I'm, just, I'm just curious. <laughs> um, all right. I think that because you were in it and... It's a certain program you're on that by default, in a sense, I will be eating definitely healthier at the house. Yeah. Obviously, there'll be more, you know, we'll have more, you know, there'll be walks and things like that. Um, and I'll have to tailor a little bit of it my way, but I think just by default, I'll be there. You know, we'll be losing weight together. So, so you think it is no, we're going to have no issues. Me and you are going to get along just fine losing weight together. I think when you can't, when you start having your Coke Zero withdrawals, then it won't be good. Well, I'm day two into it. And, yeah, third, mm, I'm not. And, I mean, I think I can do it. Like, you know, one of the questions that was really interesting when we had, when I had my consultation, they were super impressed that I quit smoking cold turkey. And you've yeah. got to admit that that was pretty intense. I'm very happy for you. No, I mean, I definitely, it was great. You did fantastic with it. You set a goal. It was pretty cool to see you stop it um, and resist temptation for a good while. Pretty cool. Yeah. So, I mean, I have the, what do you call it, the motivation. I have the inspiration. I guess the part that I sometimes lack, and I'm sure other folks like this too, it's the part where... 
when you don't want to do it, when you don't have the motivation. The mornings when you're like, it's so much easier to do this. It's so much, you know, that's the part that I kind of, I know I'm going to struggle with. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so I found this article that I wanted to talk to you about because I think it had some good things that we could look into um, when it comes to losing weight together because I think as a couple, it's a different circumstance because we eat together. We, you know, we're together a lot. You know what I mean? To loose or not to loose? Oh, shoot. Ah! Hey, by did the way, I spell it wrong? You did. And by the way, I'm not wearing my tea. <laughs> you know, I'm being lazy this morning, guys, and I'm sure you follow things and jokes. I just didn't want to put them in. I'm getting my little x-rays or dental. I can't believe... I thought that was to lose. That's your... All right, New Zealander. Is that what y'all spell it like in New Zealand? <laughs> to lose or not to lose. I lost Whoops. my two front teeth and did not get them back. For I lose. It was like, so that is too loose. I'll be getting loose. back so very soon. Dang it. I'm going to have to edit that. Oh, my gosh. No, it's funny. I think it was a good little thing. You know, it's the beginning of 2021, and it's been crazy, both work and personal, mm. and everything has still had some crazy. But to me, I mean, I hadn't been one of those that wrote the year off yet. You 2021? Know. Yeah, there's been some people that said, oh, with the capital and everything, yeah. it's already done. But to me, it's kind of... Pushing out that last little, mm, like I said, it's kind of pinching off that last little, you know, loaf from <laughs> 2020. Just kind of getting stuff out. But, all right, let's get back to articles. I love articles, but okay. I don't like reading them. So, losing weight as a couple. First of all, recognize the differences. So, what would you say the differences between me and you are when it comes to losing weight? I don't know because we've never avidly been on anything to lose weight. Well, I think we both, the difference is I'm are, not spontaneous. You are spontaneous. I, am, I like a routine. Yeah. And the routine, when it's off a little bit, as I'm sure with other people, then it's like I just shut down. Not like in a depressive shutdown, but I shut down. And reach for the food, like right? I, well, I mean, it's reach for the food. Food, but I mean, a lot of it is I was actually going to a gym somewhat regularly, yeah. of course, before the pandemic. But my routine was to wake up early, go to a gym, and I would shower and then go to work. Well, mm -hmm. with all the pandemic and restrictions, and when gyms were able to open, they had to shut down the showers, any saunas, or things like that. Which I mean, the showers are the only thing that really mean something to me. So now it made it to a factor in time to drive, work out, then come back. And it threw everything off, was not how I like to do it, and so I just never went anymore. Yeah. She, Cammy, when it comes to stuff from the house, she's good at encouraging us to get out. Sometimes I don't feel like it because, like today, you would like to go for a bike ride. Yeah. I have a lot of things, and i am all you know, got a lot going on at work this coming week, so I'm not in the mood. We hadn't talked about it. She brought it up this morning. I'm not a spontaneous kind of guy, so. Yeah. Well, but, you know, it's okay to not be like that, but to try to be a little bit, you know, because... I think there's good. Yeah. I, th I think the snacking is probably... It used to be bad for me, but I don't late night snack. You got to be, I think, the worst of us on the late night snack. Oh, I was like... And I couldn't soft sleep drinks, without drinking, food. Chugging soft drinks a good bit was your thing. Even though we did the zero calories and stuff, so we were good there. But we were both just horrible. It's yeah. the meal prep that sucks. Like... And I know there's people out there. I mean, there's companies out there. But it's like I need one of the, Like, for me to truly eat healthy, every all the crap, because I am weak, sweets and stuff like that needs to be out of the house. Number two, I need someone to just put seven dishes or however many dishes in the fridge that says Stephen Monday morning, Stephen Tuesday morning, and or whatever else, and then I'll be fine. But if it's up to me, I'm... Just admitting I am going to do it. Yeah. Okay, so this is what it says. Mutual support and inspiring one another. Mutual goals, decisions about what foods to buy. Now, where it gets bad is where one person takes on the rule of the food police. Hmm. Right? And then if one person lapses, that's for an excuse for the other person to lapse. Yep. So those are the two things that I know... I ain't even going to put you under the bus. Both of us are food police. Like, if one of us eats something that's bad... Now, I have no excuse now. I have all my meals. Like, yeah, I know exactly what she I mean. She has a formal plan written up. 
because I'm doing this. But what I'm telling you is both of us have been that food police though. Mm -hmm. Both of us will get mad at the other person and mm -hmm. like call it out when we do exactly the same thing either the day before or the next day. Mm -hmm. um, and then when it comes to one person lapsing, that's the part that's going to be hard for me because if you lapse or if I lapse, like for me, if you lapse, that is hard for me. But that's why this for me has to be individual. I like the idea of losing weight as a, as a couple in theory, mm -hmm. but I think at the root of it, it has to be an individual thing. It does. Okay, next. Mother nature. Biological differences. It's typically easier for women to lose weight and keep it off. Not even kidding. This is so true. It is. It's like certain things with like men in general are bigger. Women have like, it's just harder for us to lose weight. Yeah, I've heard that before. Um, so as women, try not to get discouraged if he seems to be like right in the beginning. If me and you were to do the exact same thing, like working out and blah, 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 you would lose weight faster. You know, I did. But the one thing that I have going against me is I'm older than you and I'm getting older and my metabolism slows down a lot more. So that might somehow even the playing field a little bit. That's true. That's true. Okay. Uh, next, get a move on physical activity. Exercise. So this is crap for women too. Exercise does not encourage hunger in men like it does in women. Like when men exercise... Typically, mm -hmm. most of the time, their first thought isn't, oh my gosh, I need to eat. Let's go eat. Let's eat food. With women, the second they finish working out, that's the first thing they want to do. That's biologically in them. Hmm. So that sucks in general. But when it comes to weight control, get this, it's more important to stay active throughout the day mm -hmm. instead of doing just one giant workout yeah, and doing of nothing else. Of course. But that, I didn't even know that. You did know that. Not really. Okay. Like, I thought even if I was, I mean, even if I'm working out, That's it's why good. the little watches and everything else tell you to get up and move around. You got to keep the blood pumping. You can't sit down for hours and do something. Hey, Brad. You nice gotta, to see you. You got to, hey, and tell Whitney happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday to Whitney. Birthday. Woo! <laughs> okay. Um, okay, next. And this is big time for me. Avoid emotional eating. I just have a sweet tooth. When you do, you crave chocolate when you're sad, bored, or depressed. I crave chocolate at every point in the day. Does that mean I'm always depressed? No, because I have medication for that. Okay, but it could be anxiety. I driven. have a sweet tooth, and if you put anything sweet or dessert-like around me, especially bite size, it will not make. Why it bite sick. size? Well, because it's easier. It's, hey. Well, if it's individually wrapped. Laziness will kick in at some point, and I'll stop unwrapping. If it's something where it's like Christmas treats or whatever, and they're all just out in the open, bite side, they're done. <laughs> done. <laughs> okay, so um, also it's common for people to eat in response to hurt feelings, depression, and anxiety. Now, my biggest reason for eating bad foods, not even lying, boredom. That's why I smoked. Because of boredom. It was something to do. To, you want it to be one of the cool kids. I definitely wanted to be one of the cool kids. Cool kids. Even when I, I smoked, I wasn't it. one of the cool I kids. I hated it. Yeah. Gosh, you smelled like an ashtray. It was awful, wasn't it? It was huh? horrible. Um, but my whole thing, though, is eating in response to hurt feelings, depression, anxiety, boredom, being sad, not even realizing it. Like, those are real things. And for me... I know that that is, second I feel like that, that is the moment that I need to do something else yeah. to refocus my mind, which is actually one of the tips. Uh, first of all, here are some tips to avoid that. Uh, let your significant other know when you feel a binge coming on. Take a bike ride together to focus away from food. There's other things instead of a bike ride. A walk together. I just thought that was funny that they had put a bike yeah. ride. <laughs> Uh, make a list of non-food related activities to do together or alone. That's why I like doing this stuff, like going walking or going, you know. Yeah, that's great. And I think that's a great thing to do as a couple. It's also a great thing to do with friends. Like and by you call myself. up friends and do it by yourself as well. Because you have an introvert person who sometimes doesn't feel like getting out. He does like those activities as he's gotten older and fatter. Maybe not so much, but he want you know, this year as in everybody's new year, I'm going to get back, I'm going to do better, and I hope this year it's for truth. I think it will be. It's going to be a good year, but, you know, it's 
you know, we'll do it. But if you want to do it, I don't be like, well, I can only go if Cammy goes. Well, I I've never been hug. like that. It's probably the only child in me. It's probably because I dick shit on my own for all the years. Yeah. You know, I don't and need somebody else to do it. He's not being a dick it. about this. No, I, I don't need somebody else to do it. Me and him are just very, like, for me, I like to do stuff and I love doing stuff with him. But sometimes he just needs to recharge by himself. See, she and so me and um, him, we're, we're, we're trying, though. I think you watch Sex in the City too many times and you watch too many romantic comedies where they're frolicking in, like, Central Park and, like, riding their yes. little cruiser bikes and putting a little dog in the top or something. And so now you're like, <laughs> oh, we have to do it to love each other. I don't think that, hon. I feel that some there's a smidgen of you that does, at least a smidge. No, I don't. Probably not, but, you know, it's fun to <laughs> discuss. And next, be attentive to your food and your moods. Like, that's the part sometimes that really... I'm a moody SOB. <laughs> God, you'd have, you'd have filled out that journal pretty fast, wouldn't you? What journal? <laughs> what journal are we talking about? If we had to fill out a food and mood journal. Oh, that'd be easy. Grumpy, tired, <laughs> hungry. I'm not. I wouldn't be like I'm in my feelings today. So. Oh, Stephen! So you a, know I what ate I a mean. Cinnamon roll. Stephen, you know what I mean. You're a moody man. You're very grumpy. I work, I work on that sometimes. Well, sometimes you know, Stephen's got to recharge. Man, friends got to recharge. I got it. And then some people don't like to let them recharge. They like to keep going. So it's all in love. It's all in love. It is. I'm a little tired now because I stayed up to about 1 a.m. watching Why? watching the 84 movie Dune. What? 1984 movie Well, because I know the new series is coming out on HBO and I couldn't remember everything. You said it was weird. Why would you watch a weird well, movie? Well, because I haven't watched it all the way through. Gosh, probably since... I don't know if in my life I ever watched it all the way through. I just remembered sandworms, blue eyes, and people with... Cords coming out of their nose and some fat, disgusting guy with little bubbles on his head. Ooh. That's all I remembered. So I watched it, and it's good. But when the series comes out, I'll, just, I'll do a little more. But I just couldn't get sleep, so I washed, folded, and watched Dune. Was it awful? Was it awful? Was it I mean, no, it's good. It's great for an 80s movie. Yeah. I mean, it's still good. I just probably need to watch it again. A lot of details in there. It's a very intricate story that needs a series. Yeah. Um, okay, and then the last part is actually talking... That looks like a whole page. It is a whole page, hun, because I write lots of notes. I like to... Lots of notes. <laughs> we need notes. Lots of them. Lots and lots to go with the locks and bagels. You done? Coffee. <laughs> okay, so... Tanga! Look at that teeth. Okay, so when it comes to losing weight, though, going solo, what happens when you're ready to change, your significant other is not on board? It can be unsettling, um, you know, change and you don't like change, right? Oh, it can be unsettling. So the trick is to stay true to yourself without resenting your significant other for not being mm -hmm. on board. If you are determined to lose weight and get in shape and your partner doesn't want to join you, here are some things that you need to do. So I'm going to do these just in case. You tend to, you know, just in case you don't want to. I'm going to talk with you about my plan and ask for your support. Okay. I've kind of already done that. But yes, and I fully support. Take responsibility for myself only. Damn, that's a good, I like it. Right? I like that. Next, focus on my own progress. Don't let your partner's bad habits become your undoing. Well, I, I'm, I've told you that I'm going to, and I understand that, because bad. it's easy to slip into that. What I'm worried about. And I'm going to try to be good about, you know, there's been many times me and you have sworn off pizza. And then it hits that time where we both had a long day and nothing but like a somewhat okay tasting Little Caesars pizza mm. for five bucks hits the spot. So, but as far as like binging treats and stuff, we will not be keeping them in the house. There's still some stuff in the pantry that will finish up just so we're not throwing out now, or bring we, to work. Or I won't. She won't be. I'll, I'm doing it. That'll mean Either I'm chuck it, it out or finish it. Or bringing it to work, things like that, so we don't have the temptation. Because if it is there, we are both weak people. She is strong when she puts her mind to it, so she's going to be on it. But I'm a weak man. I'm weak. Yeah. 
Okay, and then finally, don't preach or pe- pester your partner to join your weight loss journey. Dang, I like that. I thought you'd like that. Because that, that is what well, I tend to, to do. You try to conform and change me to do what you do. And for one, I even said on your program, you need to ask how it would be for me. Because obviously there's going to be different intakes, different whatever else. Because, I mean, just outside of the gender differences right there. Yeah. There's going to be other twinning on goals. So, you know, we're going to figure out it's going to be a good year because I want to. I'm not buying another size higher in t-shirts. I mean, I'm a large here and XL down here, you know. So, what has been, what, what was the moment that you were like, you know, I really do need to lose this weight? What was that moment for you? For me, I have a specific moment. What was it for you? Well, I mean, I'm sure it was one time when I went on the scale and went above an amount I never thought I'd be at in my life just because yeah. I've always been a small guy. I mean, at least through high school and. I mean, well, no, honestly, into my first careers, I mean, I was a buck 60 max, you know, that's soaking wet. I was a small thing. And, uh, you know, after those, probably, you know, kind of around 2015, I started putting weight back and I was working out, but it wasn't the healthy eating though. So yeah, I was building muscle, but I was building some fat around there as well. And then moving things like that. And it just stress with other things the priority wasn't there. yeah priority wasn't there and then you put on pounds and then you got to work hard to get them off and it well, just got to be a, a circle but probably obviously when it's like i was going on to, to meet with some job meetings and i'm like i gotta buy another suit because dang. that one didn't fit anymore and it did i did not look as stylish when i buttoned up a shirt it's like i was gonna be the fat guy in a little coat you know tommy boy version walking in there so i had to buy another you know just I went another size up on the jacket, and then about a year later, I, had, I have three of the same gray suits. You know, one from back in really tiny Stephen Day, mm-hmm. and then medium, and then I got it. So I'm good for whatever level I'm at on a gray suit. Mm. Well, I will tell you, I have two points to that, and then I'm going to ask you your question for me. Um, two points to that. My fir- my moment when I realized that That's I so cool. was just getting very um just out of control i was shopping recently i actually Mm -hmm. ended up finding a dress that really looked good but i was shopping recently and i realized i wasn't shopping for anything i particularly liked i was shopping for things that didn't make me look huge i agree with that i mean for me too and i don't like and i realized I wasn't even caring about what it looked like Mm -hmm. as long as I didn't look like a big giant person. And I realized that that was quite, quite sad. But you got that booty though. You got to show that big booty. (laughs) Get that booty. (laughs) But I understand what you're saying on the front. I didn't like. Many things I would like to get. I didn't like the fact that that's why I was, Mm -hmm. what I was looking for. Instead of something that looked cool or something that I lights color wise mm-hmm. or anything it was about minimizing and i was like that sucks yeah um and i've always claimed like look for me it's not about what i look like mm-hmm. because of what other people think and i truly mean that i truly 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 mean that i i've gotten to a stage in life i think where my weight is what it's going to be and you know, it's not about other people. Mm-hmm. For me, right now, it is about my house. And that's the only way it needs to be. And right. about just, about my own self. But I, re- you know, I found this other thing that really got me thinking about why I want to lose weight. And I thought it was very important. Remember that thing I sent you the other day and it was choose your heart. Mm-hmm. And it was talking about choosing your heart, be it... Some of the other ones were choose your heart, married or divorced. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. Like either put in the work in your marriage or, you know, finding a partner, good you partner. You can put in the work and still get a work. I, I, there's always exceptions. Okay. Just saying. And hard. Um, well, that was a bit triggering, wasn't it, babe? Just a little triggering. Um, but you can choose your heart. And one of the greatest things about, you know, you know, even this whole process I'm doing, this was literally created out of a hospital with, you know, very obese people. Mm-hmm. So people at the other end of the health spectrum and that kind of stuff. 
So one of the things in this little meme that I sent him the other mm. day, choose your heart, was exercise and healthy eating or obesity and bad health. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, right now it's, you, you know, I feel like I'm getting all preachy, but I felt mm -hmm. so inspired by that because it's so true. Like choosing the hard right now, like working really hard to like maybe get that job and, you know, but putting in the hard work now as opposed to years down the road and hating what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many things that, you know, are going to be hard eventually mm -hmm. <laughs> or are going to be hard at some point. Mm -hmm. But if you choose your hard right now, be it not eating those sweets or be it doing the exercise, mm -hmm. even when you don't feel like it, choosing your hard is you have that choice right now. Yep. And I just, it, it's good stuff. You I, don't feel motivated. Well, like I me. do, but I mean, now I feel it's turned to rambling, but I'm very, you know. Okay. What's your That's question? just me. I shut off quick sometimes. So I'm like, I've heard but it. you feel it, And though. I check out. Feel I, my point, right? I do feel your point, babe. Okay. What is your question for me? I don't know. What's the... I think of a few things. Just being around you when you like to snack or certain drinks or things like that. What is the one absolute thing you are going to miss the most during this time that is not in your plan to eat or drink? Because I've seen you with many things on a daily basis that you need to have, whether it be creamer and coffee, certain soft treats, whether it's a margarita, whether it's certain snacks. So what, if you had, what is the number one thing, if you thought about it each day, this is what I'm going to miss the most? I don't really have anything because it's all lumped into one. Um, cause I have to like take out, I'm not kidding. Coke Zero? Yeah, probably. Creamer? Probably a uh, pop. So, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, probably like a Diet Coke miss. or something. It's not lumping them into categories. No, but I'm just saying like, because my diet is completely different now. I'm not asking about what your diet is. I'm saying out of the certain items you eat, which are individual things, what is the one thing? Probably chips and salsa. That's understandable. Yeah, you do like chips and salsa a lot. It's kind of like my, I'm going to just relax and watch TV and have that moment of absolute relaxation. That time you fell asleep and two chips were still laying on the couch. Oh, cover. let's talk about that. What did you do? That was on a vacation and I was, we were like in one of those business suite type little hotels where, and I was tapped in working early, you know, late at night, and she had gotten some snacks, some salt and vinegar chips or whatever, and was snacking. And then I went over to get my charger or something by the bed, and I looked, and she was laying there all peaceful like a little angel. And there were some salt and vinegar chips, like the actual chips laying on the counter, like they didn't make it to her mouth or they fell out. But I was hungry, so I ate them. <laughs> and she couldn't believe it, but I'm like, they just were right there. Did she got such that? a kick out of that. Did you hear that? There's my girl, Georgia. She's my baby. Yeah, we got uh, the cats and Jax is here. You can't see him on he, some of it. A, he can see him on the middle. And when she, oh, yeah, little man. He's such a good little boy. He's a great boy. But, but anywho, so Man Friend Podcast, like I said, you can find us... Um, in the Apple Store on Google Play. You can find us at maddenfriendpodcast.com. Mm -hmm. You can also sh catch our Twitch shows every... Uh, we took a little break over the holidays because things just got so busy. They just got nuts. We had to. Yeah, but next week, so next week's uh, Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. Central, so whatever time that if is If it should you. ever adjust, she'll let you know due to work. Yeah. Shouldn't I? No, it shouldn't, but I have yeah. a crazy time coming up in my industry. Um, and uh, yeah, but you can always, you know, find us on any of our social medias as well. Get all the links there if you forget. But yeah, it's super exciting to be doing the whole Twitch thing. It's um something that, you know, the more we do, the more uh, we'll learn as we go. And thank you to everyone that uh, helps us Bye. with different Bye. stuff like this. Um, so I'm going to say bye um how do i stop this oh there we go inline video <laughs>